So not even just castrate. I'm going to tell you about both of these real quick. Okay. So you have in front of you two bourbons. They're both identically the same bourbon in our house. So you have our 80 proof and you have our castrate. They're both 65% corn, 22% rye, seven barley, six wheat. So you start talking about a four grain high rye bourbon. That's pretty unique considering there's only a few producers that are making four grain high rye bourbons. Four grain that is. So they tend to be very mellow. They're sort of treated like a winery with like a, a winemaker would treat like a Bordeaux with Cabernet and Merlot making one heavier, one stronger with a little bit more Merlot making it lighter. In this case, having the ability to use wheat and barley, you have the ability to tame down the overall flavor profile. So what you find is two very, very mellow bourbons for what they are. What's really cool about the cast drink is that most recently in the San Francisco Wine and Spirits Competition and the New York Wine and Spirits Competition, the two largest wine and spirits competitions in the country, this took double gold, the highest it can attain in both of them. And most recently in New York, it was number, it was named in the top three overall whiskeys. So this right here is starting to attain some pretty serious credentials and recognition for being a quality brand. It's not just a celebrity owned brand, but it's a celebrity owned quality backed brand. Uh, just as he mentioned, it's an easy, easy introduction on the ballot. 114, see that? That doesn't drink like a 114 at all. Can I try to pass? It's really good, really good. Good, thank you. Give it, give it, a, give it a taste, Sat. What say ye? Thank you. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. It, it doesn't taste like 114. Oh, yeah, for sure. Good job, fellas. 